bringing us the revelation word today is a husband, a teacher of the word, and a prophetic prayer warrior who has been active in ministry for two plus decades, with God affirming his ministry with many incontrovertible and notable testimonies. Please be on your feet as we welcome the senior pastor of ICGC, the Revelation Temple UK, Pastor A.D. Frederick. Hallelujah. Oh, you want to give the Lord a better clap and a shout of praise. What a joy to see you. Once again, those of you online, those of you who had made the journey here, I want to salute you with both hands. God bless you. Tell a neighbor, keep it up. God bless you. Our oh, Lord is good. Now, you want to look at your neighbor and tell him, you've tested negative for afflictions. That was powerful. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, I want us to do a big unclub for our Rhapsody Bird and our super duper Echoes of Revelation and a wonderful ministration by Dickness Sharon Special. God bless you. That was powerful. Praise the Lord. So this morning we are in church again. Those of you at home, make sure you are in the church mood. Don't be distracted. Ensure that you get the children around you and let them partake of this glorious service today. At least you can tune in. Those of you with a smart TV, you can tune in or link the stream on your smart TV so that a family can... The family can all watch it. Ensure you comment, like, share, and uh, let the service bless somebody. So this morning, we want to take our increased declaration. As I've always told you, these are creative force. They are not just words we are uttering. But when we speak, they are building bricks. Hallelujah. As, as we do that, have that thing in mind, that every word I speak is a brick. And I am building a mansion for my life. Hallelujah. Say, I confess today that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. In Him, I have life. His abundant life. The Lord is my light and strength. The Lord, take it back please. I want us to repeat that aspect, yes. The Lord is my light and strength. Say it again, say, the Lord is my light and strength. For the third time, say, the Lord is my light and strength. As he is, so has he made me. By his spirit, I increase, I increase in word, in word and, in and in wisdom, in faith, in faith and, in and in favor. The Lord has said, Lord has said in, blessing, in blessing, I will bless you. In multiplying, I will multiply your seed. So I can boldly say, my God shall increase me more and more what i place in god's hands grows into overflow though i begin small though i begin small though i begin small my end shall greatly increase my end shall greatly increase in this year of increase I grow in grace and in strength to, to be all that God wants me to be. In Jesus' name. Clap your hands and give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. 
Amen and amen. What a joy to have you take your seat very quickly. Take your seat very quickly. I believe that you make your notes ready. Ensure that no word passes away without you documenting it. Praise Jesus. Believe that we have begun. We began a journey from the very beginning of, of the year 2022. As our Father in the Lord, God bless Dr. Otterbell and God bless the Revelation Temple. We have been given a flagship theme which is increase. And I have been attempting to make ourselves ready or make us ready for that promise and the declared increase to become a living reality. It is not enough confessing increase. It is not enough saying it. It's not enough wearing it. It's not enough making it your WhatsApp status or your Facebook DP or whatever. But what I want to say is that this, I believe that the intention of the Spirit that, was, that ministered this theme to our Father in the Lord is for us to increase as children of God so that we would move from our old place to a new place. Old levels to new levels. From ground zero to the upper tier. Hallelujah. So therefore, it will, we have to now take time and build. I don't know whether you would allow me, but when you look here, we have uh, some items here. And today I'm touching on buoyant relationship. Say buoyant relationship. Clap your hands and say buoyant relationship. Hallelujah. So we are still laying foundations. Now, this is also to help in the, in the increase process, to build relationships. Now we are on the, on the, on the, on the uh, sub-theme, buoyant relationship. Still laying foundations for increase. Hallelujah. And so we have here some few items that I believe that they are familiar, though most of you here, you are not in the construction field, but at least you have seen some wearing this, and you have seen others using these materials. Praise the Lord. This is what is called a brick. Hallelujah. If you recall, I told you that as we are making the declaration, you should know that they are not just words you are uttering, but they are actually brick building bricks okay in this part of the world we only know of bricks we don't know of blocks or sanctuary blocks we know of bricks because um, that is what we build with here and it's very beautiful praise the lord now you look at these bricks they are all not of the same design they are there are differences this is a pavement brick and this is a building brick this build this one is for building praise the lord you are all called bricks, but they are all not for the same purposes. So they all have the same name, but they don't belong to each other when it comes to their usage. Praise the Lord. We have gloves here, all right? And then we have what is called spirit level. Say spirit level. And say gloves. And then we have the trowel hallelujah at least i did some technical skills in my <laughs> elementary education now this is also a helmet okay i don't know whether we can call it crash helmet but it's all seven eight purpose somebody will say but what are these things doing in church i just want to be a bit dramatic so that you this will remain with you there is a place for illustration when it comes to messaging. It has a way of sinking deep in the minds of the listeners. Because at least if you can remember any word that was preached at all, you have an idea of what the preacher is talking about. Praise the Lord. So this is what we are going to look at today. Though there are others, of course, we will need a cement and we will need some um, uh, water and all that. But I just want you to focus on this. And this is going to be here throughout the time we are done with this laying foundation for 
increase. So today, as I said, we are looking at the, th the message, buoyant relationship. Say buoyant relationship. You see, your relationships are very necessary. I've not seen any human being who can live an effective and a joyful life on earth without having a relationship. And on that note, bow down your heart. Faithful King of Glory, we thank you for another golden moment to share in your truth. And we pray that by the leading of your spirit, we shall receive timeless revelations that would help us to increase according to your word that is promised and given unto us. We declare that the least this word will not enter into one ear and pierce through the other. But Father, they will sink deep in our spirit. That Lord, we will begin to live the word in the name of Jesus. We pray that Lord, your word will, your word will help us to live, and to live in this world most effectively and gloriously according to your set standard for our destiny. Father, we declare, oh God, let every word that we go, may we be seen increasing on every side. Decrease shall not be our portion because you did not call us to decrease us. You called us to increase us. And so therefore we declare that let your spirit of truth lead us into everything that we need to know in order to increase, oh God, in this year 2022. We pray the Lord every weakness in us, let it be replaced with your strength. Because weakness has consequences. And so therefore we declare, as we buy into your word, may we be empowered in the power of your might. In the name of Jesus. Let your word, O oh God, be unto us as that which will motivate our spirit, massage our intellect, give us ideas, remove the scales from our eyes, and Lord, uncork the, the cocks in our ears so that your word would energize and direct us to live that life you want us to live in the name of Jesus. I now take authority over every counsel of wickedness that have been pre-planned against this service, against this message, and against your people. We declare that we shall not be defeated. We have the upper hand because Christ, we are in you, you are in God. We are indomitable. We cannot be defeated. We are impregnable by your power and by your spirit. We champion the cause of Christ and nothing shall stand against us and submerge us under. We declare, let the buoyancy of your word cause us to afloat regardless of the challenge, regardless of the difficulties of our time and our age. Father, for the spirit in us shall cause us to live above. For the Bible said that Christ in us, the hope of glory. We declare that let the glory of our Lord and coming King be seen in full manifestation in our lives throughout this year as we make our journey through the chapters and the pages in the name of Jesus of the year 2022. May your glory be seen and your name be seen in at work in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. And all shall shout a loudest amen than you are like you have never done before your amen is not loud enough make it much louder those of you at home make it much louder let us hear you here hallelujah now so we are talking about buoyant relationship and under the main heading laying foundation for increase. Praise the Lord. Now, when we say something is buoyant, what does it mean? What does it mean? Buoyancy has to do with the ability or tending to keep afloat or rise to the top of a liquid or gas. Hallelujah. Now, it's giving us the, the opposite of buoyancy is being heavy. Because if you are heavy, it means that you cannot afloat. You will sink. And we are talking about buoyant relationship. You need that. Praise the Lord. And so today, let me go to work. Can I wear this at all? At least you remember that there was a time that your pastor wore this like a, a builder. All right. So let me go to work. So let's assume I have come to work this morning. This is my sight. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, clap your hands for the Lord at all. I can hear it. I can hear you loud enough. 
Praise the Lord. Can somebody help? Before I fall. <laughs> Hallelujah. So we are talking about Boyan's relationship. Boyan's relationship. I know you will not forget this message in a hurry. You would know that at least I was something. Amen. So we are talking about Boyan's relationship. Boyan relationship. What are we saying here? I'm trying to let you understand that you need relationship. In order to come to the point of increase, you don't have to depend on your strength alone. You need partners. You need other people's ideas. You need uh, the counsel of others. You need those who are, are masters of their field. Because wherever you want to go, somebody has been there before or somebody is already there. And they have certain experiences that you, if you don't get close to them, you would never know. And so therefore, today we are looking at, oh, come on, give the Lord a shout of praise in here. I'm not talking to somebody at all. So we are talking about buoyant relationship. And so therefore, you looking for relationship must not be just anything at all. But a relationship that will keep you afloat. Looking for a relationship, somebody or a people that when you enter into the room, their, their eyes will light up. They will see that, no, I have seen somebody that I have some commonality with. I have seen somebody who has something that would help me increase. I've seen somebody whose ideas, whose advice, whose counsel, or even whose prayer would change my life or make my life better than I have been. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord. Praise the Lord. So now as we look at the word buoyancy, we are buoyancy means that being able to, being able, or it talks about ability or tending to keep afloat. And so therefore, when you're talking about increase, it means that we are going up. Not stagnating and not sinking. Look at it critically. Increase means that you are going up from one level to the other. You are not permitted to be stagnated. Neither are you allowed to sink. And so for you to be able to get to that point, you need to look for relationships that are buoyant, which means that people that would help this very vision to come to pass. Am I talking to somebody? Because you cannot rely on yourself alone. You must need people who at every point in time, they are able to tell you, do this here, do that here. This is not good. That is good. This will fit in here. This does not belong here. Now, we have here a couple of bricks here, okay? They are all called bricks. They are all building bro uh, bricks, but they don't build the same thing. They are not used for the same purposes. They are used differently. Praise the Lord. They are used what? Differently. They serve different purpose. And the purpose at the end of the day, uh, we are looking at. Now, I've told you that this one is a pavement blocks. It is placed on the floor so that you can walk on. Sometimes so your nice shoe or your, 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 your designer shoe will not be dirty. So that you, it will give you some form of stability and evenness whilst you are walking. Praise the Lord. It has its purpose. Now we look at this one as well. This one is also a brick. You don't put this one on the floor. Because there are some ingredients, there are certain things that have been put in this, in making this. This may have gone through some fire, some burning. Which maybe this one may not have gone through. This one may have certain materials that are mixed in it that would make it serve the purpose for what it was constructed or built or molded, so to speak. Hallelujah. That's a technical term for, for it. Now, you will see that all these other blocks, they are the same. They all look the same. Are they not? They all look the same. They are the same size. The same size. Look at it. Are they not the same size? They are. 
Now look at this one. What do you see? Just look at it quicker. What do you see? You see, this one look much smaller. So right away you can tell that you don't need to be a professional or a builder to know that you don't use this type of bridge for this type of among these other bricks even though they are all bricks let me tell you something in our pursuit of increase you must know where you belong you must know where you belong where you fit in or where because you see when you are talking about increase it doesn't mean that you have to look at you are doing this you are doing that you are doing this and you are all over the place you must have specific thing you are pursuing that this year for instance we entered into this this year we were given a theme the theme is what increase there are other things that we could look at but the focus is increase this month to those of us at trt god bless the revelation temple our theme for the month here is what what laying foundation so it means that we have a certain purpose something we are all looking at and so anyone who want to grow or become this particular themes you must look at them critically you see this one does not belong here it is odd among the rest of the bricks because it was not meant for this now if it's not only that it's smaller you look at the 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 the, the width of it the width is also a bit shorter than this one so you see the effect of this had been shown here so in order to fit this here it will require a lot of work a lot of adjustment you need to put a lot of mortar in between okay because of course in building you don't build this way one the, the at the joint the, the bricks need to this is how it's supposed to be this is how it's supposed to be probably you have it this way okay this is supposed to be clearly you will see that they don't just fit in you must know that there are some areas you don't fit now let me give you a quick example here was david who was to fight goliath he went to see the king when he went to the field everybody was afraid he went to the field and when he got to the field he noticed that everybody was just you know the men had become boys and the, and and the soldiers who were trained they were all timid he said i could fight this man I could overcome him. Who is this one? He is an uncircumcised Philistine. But listen to this. He did not quickly just attack him. He had to now go and consult the king. He consulted the king because in Israel, before even you become a king, or even if you are a king, what happened is that anytime there is war, you must go, ask, you must go along. You must most time lead the, the, the army to the battlefield. So he had to go and consult the king. Now, when he went to the king, the king told him, you cannot fight this man. Why? Because he had been a warrior for all his life. He has a wealth of experience that you do not have. So, the, the king saw that David was not budging. He was men and determined to fight this very, how do you call it? This very uh, uncircumcised Philistines in the name of Goliath so the king said okay since you are unwilling you still want to go ahead you want to pursue this very mission i will help you out now take this armament this garment put on this armor as the bible said put on the whole armor of god so he offered him the armor but then david took it up he noticed that it is bigger like i'm wearing this one it i feel very uncomfortable because it's bigger than me hallelujah as if i borrowed it from my my uncle now watch this at the end of the day, David saw that, no, I cannot fight with this. I don't fit in this. I don't fit in this. Though I want to fight, but this, this kind of, how do you call it, uh, armament would not help me win the battle. So this means that you must know where you belong. We are looking at buoyant relationship. There are things that do not just relate. They do not just relate. No matter how passionate you are. David was so passionate. He wanted to fight Goliath. So the king offered some help. But he noticed that the help that was offered to him would not help him. He would not, it would not help him win the battle. So he had to take it out. Praise the Lord. Though he need relationship, 
But at the end of the day, a relationship that will keep you afloat, that is what we are looking at. At least, if he didn't learn anything at all, the king told him that the man you are going to fight, he is very experienced. So one lesson he had learned. So he knows that he's not going to a battle with an, an, an amateur. Somebody who doesn't know his left from his right. Because being passionate about something is not enough. You need knowledge to accompany it. We are still talking about boyer relationship. So whatever you need, you want to do, you must look at information, look for ideas that are related to what you want to do, and then you pursue it. So that you don't just all over the place like what we call a runaway horse. Because very, very soon, you'll be out of gas. Why? Because you are using your energy into things that will never yield you the result. Why? Because you do not have information. Hallelujah. So David told the king, I cannot deal with this. Now watch this. Also, we are looking at boy and relationship. In making your relationship, look for relationship that will keep you afloat. Not that which will make you heavy and sink you deep. Praise the Lord. Now, I want us to look at a quick scripture, very quickly. Uh, in the book of Genesis, uh, Genesis chapter, uh, uh, okay, let's look at Isaiah first. Isaiah 41 verse 8. Give me Isaiah 41 verse 8. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 41 verse 8. Can I have it quickly? He said, but you, Israel, he was talking about Jacob. He said, by you, Israel. So here you say, but you, Jacob, you are my servant, whom I have chosen. Praise the Lord. The descendant of Abraham, my, my, come on, talk to me, my, my friend. Now look at it. The Lord addressed Abraham as his friend but with jacob look at me critically with jacob he addressed him as what his servant two people from the same lineage one was addressed as what servant the other was addressed as a friend now these positions or these relationships did not just come anyhow God himself related, he said, to Israel, to Jacob, you would be my servant, which means that you will serve my purpose. But with Abraham, he is my friend. We are talking about Boyan relationship. Now, in looking for relationship, look for relationship that would end up making you better relationship that will take you from your old places to a place of even a place where you are low where you'll be lifted to a higher pedestal we are still talking about laying foundations for increase let's say you are in the construction field there are you need contracts in order for your construction business or a, a career to be fruitful but let me tell you something. You need relationships. Out of it, then you will get these contracts. Because as you speak, there are people who are looking for a job today. But there's somebody who knows a place where there is a job that you may best fit in. But if you don't have relationship, you will not end up getting that job. Today I declare that may the Lord link every one of you to places and to people who will make your life better, who will uplift you, who will see where you belong and they will direct you to that direction in the name of Jesus so that for the increase that we are looking for, it shall come upon us all in the name of Jesus. Now God said to Israel, you are my servant, Jacob. Whom I have chosen. Though I have chosen you, but your place, as far as I'm concerned, you are my servant. Tell anybody, know your place. And know where you fit in. Praise the Lord. Now look at it. We look at the, another account in Genesis 17, 24. Very quickly. 
We are still building, laying foundation for increase. God of the horse. Now the Bible said that Abraham was 99 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. Let's go further quickly. Quickly. And Ishmael, his son, was 13 years old when he was circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin. Please wrap it up quickly for me, please. That very same day, Abraham was circumcised and his son, Ishmael, that is in, his son Ishmael, yes. And all the men of his house, born in the house or bought with money from foreign from for, a foreigner were circumcised with him can you go ahead please come come to the best come to the best number eight best number 24 the best come back to the best number 24 best number 24 for me and stay there for a while now the Bible was talking about Abraham who was at the age of 99 now quickly let me bring our mind on something before I go further Abraham as we all know when God called him his name was Abraham he has a name which limited him just like this brick he was limited he has a name that suggests to every member in his family that you belong only here you can't go any further. A name that suggests to everybody in the family that if we are looking for Abraham, we can only see him within our family. He cannot do any, go any further. That was a limitation. Now, God appeared on the scene. Now, when you look at what we read in the Isaiah account, God appeared on the scene and then he told Abraham that you are my friend. I called you my friend now. It was a position that Abraham had to earn. How did he earn that position? It didn't come cheap. A price ought to be paid. Praise the Lord. A price ought to be paid. Tell the neighbor, are you ready? Ask the neighbor, are you ready to pay the price? Ask the next person, are you ready to pay the price? Now, to everything that we want to achieve there is a price to pay we are talking about increase and for that increase to come it required that we must be ready to pay a price now that price one thing i want to tell all of us here talking about boy relationship you must have people who when you are in your lowest estate they will be able to come to you they will be able to be there for you. They will be able to understand even in the midst of your mistakes and your loneliness, they will be able to be there. They will be able to tell you the truth. Now, there are some of us, you need, we need certain relationship that though somebody may be living in your house, man of God, by the end of the day, when you, you he eat your food, she eats your food, you pay the bills and sometimes you even clothe them. It, they must, you must have friends said that even though they feed from your table, they live under your roof. When you go wrong, they should be able to tell you, my sister, my brother, this thing is wrong, that thing is wrong. It's getting quiet in here. Hallelujah. I'm not talking to somebody at all. You need somebody to tell even though, even though they eat from your table, table they eat from your 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 sweat they live under your roof they must be able to tell you this thing you do it here this that you do it there because listen in this life i have noticed that most times we have friends who because they are friends when we go wrong because they do not want to offend us they don't tell us the right thing that we ought to hear so in looking for buoyant relationships Look for this. That one, people who still want to relate to you when you are in your lowest low. Abraham means a father of what? A family. A father of a family. To paraphrase it. Then God came on the scene. At that level, looking at God, he has no business associating with Abraham. Look at me carefully. He has no business associating with Abraham to the extent that he will call Abraham my friend. 
that was not a cheap friendship at all. Imagine you are a friend or one of the world's richest individuals telling you or telling somebody that this is my friend. You know you have everything at your disposal. Whenever you need anything, it's just a phone call away. Praise the Lord. So, the Lord referred to Abraham as his friend. Now, as I said, it did not just come in anyhow. There was a price that was paid for it. Abraham at a point was in a family. When you look at, I want us to look at it very quickly before we come back to this. In the Genesis account, the chapter 17, I think. The chapter 17. The chapter 17. Let's look at it from the best. Yes, the best number one. I want to read something quickly. The best number one. Give me the best number one very quickly. Talking about Boyan's relationship. Relationship that will keep you afloat. Relationship that when you are down, that, that person will be there, will come down for you to help you up, to, to inspire you up, to uplift you up. And I pray that may we be connected with such people. Now, it takes somebody with, with foresightedness who can see you even in your lowest state. They can still tell that there is something good in you. Amen. Your amen is sick of COVID-19. The Bible said when Abraham was 19, 19, 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said to him, I am I'm almighty God. Walk before me and be blameless. Hallelujah. When Abraham was 99, now when you look at it, you look at it, Abraham was an old man. If you have to relate it to our time, he was an old man. Those, those days, he may be maybe in his youthful age. But if you are to relate it to our time, Abraham, any 99 old man is an old man. And you do not want to probably do any business with. Because already you know that the person is possibly closer to their grave. But God appeared to him and said, Abraham, I am the almighty one. He introduced himself as the one who has all might, all power. This is how he introduced himself to Abraham. So that if Abraham has some weakness, he should know that the might of God would overcome, oh come on, is somebody here at all, would overshadow and would take over his weaknesses and his might would take place. Say, boy, your relationship. You need relationships that, are, that sometimes from people who are even sometimes better than yourself, stronger than yourself, to help you to get to the level that you ought to get to. Now watch this. You see, this bricks, as I was saying, this bricks, of course, doesn't belong here. We can all see it by its color, by its measurements. It doesn't belong here. But I can assure you that any builder who is experienced can still find a way and fit this one here. Which means that it will require a bit more mortar to level it up. Because if you measure this, you will notice that the spirit level is shifted to the other side. Now this was what God was telling Abraham. You are 99 years old. I am God who I am ageless. And I am almighty. Almighty means that my might will take over your weakness. To become who I want you to be. Then in the verse 1, that's what we read. He said, when Abraham was 99 years old, the, the Lord appeared to him. Abraham and said to him, I am almighty God. Walk before me and be blameless. So here, the Abraham's role or assignment in keeping that relationship is walking before him. Walking before him. And not being what? Without blame. So that he walked before him without having any blame. In other words, he walked before him and be perfect. Which means that following the precepts and the principles of God. Praise the Lord. For you to increase, there are principles. If you are waiting on some miracle to just happen, that, that also has its place. I told you, we are looking at boy relationship. There are things that do not just relate. And, and it, will, it will only take a miracle. 
Most times, we count so much on a miracle to happen and to the extent that the things that we are to do, we do not do. We are waiting on some miracle to happen. When God is actually waiting for you to make a move for the miracle to happen. Tell a neighbor, do something this year. Enter into some business this year. Lay some foundation this year. Begin some new business this year. Make some quality friends this year. Oh, clap your hands for the Lord. Hallelujah. Because if not, you'll be waiting that this year is a year of increase. The Lord must just supernaturally do something. And sometimes you would wait and wait and wait. When the miracle is actually waiting on you to happen, for you to do something, because you are just waiting on the miracle, and then it doesn't happen, then you conclude by saying that, ah, you see, this year had happened again just as it has been in, in years gone by. Now, the verse 2, quickly. Let me wrap up. And he said, and I will make my covenant between me and you and will multiply you exceedingly. In other words, I will increase you exceedingly. This is God speaking to a man who has been limited by his name alone. He has a limitation. He was in his father's house, a 90-year-old man. He still was under the roof of his parents. And he was married too. Can you imagine? If it were to be this time. Praise the Lord. That is the odd number. <laughs> but the Lord appeared to him and said, I will help you. And in helping you, there is something I want you to do for me. I want you to walk before me and be blameless. That is all that I want you to do. Because I would want to increase you. And when I increase you, because of you living, walking blamelessly before me, so nobody would question when I increase you. Because there are some increase when you, you are tame. You know, it throws questions in the minds of people. How did this happen? Because they know, one, they know your associations. They know your friends. They know the people you move with. So if there are people who are not godly and you are seen rolling with them, automatically they may say that, well, maybe look at his line of friends. They are into drug business or they are into this. So therefore, it is possible that that is how they make their money. Meanwhile, it may not be so. So the Lord told him that one, leave your, when he went further, he, God instructed him to leave his family, his kindred. He should leave them. Because he doesn't want to increase him among them. Finding boyan relationship. The Lord said, you cannot be in the family in which you are for me to partner with you. I would want you to move some things, move away from some things. I believe you need to look at your life at this point. That what are the things you have been doing in the years gone by? And if you are not finding result or seeing increase, it is about time you and I will make a quick U-turn. There are some relationships that will not uh, uh, help you. You need to look at it and move away from it. Now, if God was willing to yank Abraham from his own family, his bloodline, then it tells you that somebody maybe you have met at work, you met on the, on the bus or wherever who you don't have blood relationship with, it should be easy for you if you know that your relationship with them is not helping you. You need to make a quick U-turn and then move away. We are still laying foundation for increase. We don't want to be a people who are just waiting for some miracle to happen. God will send some bear to come on top of your, your roof. And then start calling your name. Sarah, 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 Sarah. There is some money in front of your door. Get up and pick it. And then say, ah, my increase has come. <laughs> Hallelujah. God will not do it that way. Praise the Lord. So you may wake up every morning, open your door, look whether there is some money there. And then when you find, ah, today is not good. The Lord is delaying. There is some, he wants you to step out of the house, go and look for something to do. He told him, step out of your family. Go to a place I am showing you. Praise the Lord. Now, let's go on. 
Then he said, and I will make my covenant between me and you and will multiply you exceedingly. Verse 3, quickly. Then Abraham fell on his face and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with you and you shall be a father of many nations. Quickly. No longer shall your name be called Abraham, but your name shall be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. Hallelujah. I'm going to conclude here. Watch this for today. We are talking about buoyant relationship. And I told you what buoyant means. That which will keep you afloat. That which will lift you from the lowest place to the upper echelon. Abraham was a father of the family or a father of his family. The Lord appeared. He built a relationship with God and said that, Look, from now on, your name has changed. Make, find relationship that will change your name. Amen. You heard it, but you didn't like it. Amen. Look for relationship that will bring change in your name. What do I mean? That will change your status. That will change your lifestyle for the better. Because he told him, walk before me and be blameless. He told him specifically, as you are walking with me, may your walk with me be blameless. Amen. Which means that a faultless walking with God. Abraham, a man who had been limited, so limited, in a family. Anytime the family waits on all that they see, is Abraham. They know Abraham is there 24-7. One morning they woke up, Abraham went to say, so look, I am leaving. You are leaving, where are you going? The whole family is looking up to you, depend on you. You are the CEO now of the, of the business, of the family. But the Lord said, no, I have a bigger business that must feed the world. For you, Abraham. And for that to happen, you must move from this very house because in that house they were idol I, it was they were doing idolatry there was that was what abraham was into the father is known as an I, I, idolater so definitely abraham is also in the same line so if god had not yanked him from the family he will also be a ceo of what idol idols enterprise <laughs> hallelujah so that anybody who is looking to, for, to buy idols, they just look, go, look to, towards that direction. But God has a bigger plan for Abraham. He said, from today one, your name, as you walk before me blameless, I change your name. And I am the one who keeps covenant. I'll keep my covenant. But try that you would walk before me blamelessly. So know where you belong and know where you don't belong. Wherever you want to go, somebody has been there already. Wherever you want to go, somebody is there before you. Find them. Lay out your vision. Know what you are looking for. What you want to do. And make sure that strategically, with purpose, you pursue it. Brick after brick. Listen. For any building, anybody to build a house, this, this place that we are, it was built. And it will surprise you that this big building you see here, it started with one brick. One brick. One after the other. One after the other. I want to challenge you. We are talking about increase. And for that increase to come, you cannot do it without having some relationship with others. That relationship too, you must ensure that, look at me, it must not be any relationship at all. But a relationship that is looking towards your direction. Look for people who have the expertise in where you want to go. Do you want to sell shoes? Look for people who have been in that business. Even if you have to serve them for a couple of years in order to master it, do it. Most often because we want to, yes, I want to, this year is a year of increase. I must increase at all costs. So you don't care with no experience. You go into one business and the next moment a problem hits and then you are all over the place. Why? Because you have not built capacity. You have also not built good relationship that will help you in the times of your challenges. Tell your neighbor, build buoyant 
relationship. Tell him or her, find Boyan's relationship. To those of you who are in school, there are some of the students you know, they may be ahead of you. Because you see, it's always wise that when you are in school, you have to also find a way to make friends with some of your seniors who know some things you don't know. For them to teach you that this one is like this, this one, you, it is calculated. Don't only make friends with just those at your level. You see, this brick doesn't belong here. So the message I'm delivering to you right now, you must look at it from both sides. Where you belong. Look at it. This one doesn't belong here. But for this, that, this to fit in here, some adjustments ought to be made. Are you ready to make some adjustments? For some of the increase you are looking for, it will not just also come evenly. It requires some adjustments. You have to ensure that you have shifted from your comfort zones to a place where you also be challenged. You have to squeeze. This one would never have to squeeze itself, squeeze to belong here. Even though, and everyone says, ah, look at you, you don't belong here. You look odd. Look at your color. Your color is, you are even dark. You don't belong here. This is, but he said, well, I don't care. Whichever way it is, I have come. I have to find my way and, and fit in somewhere. And everybody can see, but you are still focused. You don't, you know, when they, they put the spirit level, they can tell that no, there is an odd person among the park. Let's find it. But you have squeezed yourself. They say, whatever, whatever you do, I'm already here. I have come. I'm going nowhere. You can't chase me. I'm here. You, you, you have no other choice than to make me fit in. Hallelujah. You see, so at the end of the day, what I'm trying to tell you, us all is that for the increase to come, we must build quality, if you like, Boyan's relationship. Boyan's relationship. Relationship that will keep us afloat. In your walk with God, look for people who are floating, not those who are sinking. Hello? Not those who are sinking, but those who are floating. Because if not, you will sink with them. What business are you doing? Don't look for those who are sinking. The only time you can even go to them, maybe also it will be an adjustment. You want to find out what did they do that made them to be sinking. And you don't, you don't remain there for long. Quickly, because your focus is to what? To have, keep afloat, to be buoyant. So your focus is always the one that is what? Hallelujah. So you must keep afloat with the big boys. Oh. <laughs> Okay, you know that song, right? <laughs> Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody at all? Keep afloat. Keep afloat. And in doing so, you need Boyan relationship. Boyan's relationship. Those who challenge you. Those who are doing something you think that they have become masters of their craft. You get to them. How are you doing this? And you do, you, you are there for that common purpose. Because you must not remain there forever. There's always another level. You must have it at the back of your mind. That, you see, every mountain, every echelon, or at the, at the, at the pinnacle or the summit of every, every mountain you attain, consider that pinnacle also as a valley of another mountain. So you become somebody who is always climbing. Disallow yourself from being stagnated. Listen, sometimes you can find yourself in a place, it is odd, 
But if you are a person that focuses on God, you can still rise even from that shadow, from that low place. You can still rise. Every challenge must be an opportunity for your increase. Because anytime there is a problem in any place in your family, anywhere in your place of work, that should be an opportunity for somebody to be promoted. What it is that you have to find a solution. When nobody is watching, believe God. How do I solve this? How do I do this? The Lord open your eyes and give you inspiration to know how to do what nobody is having an idea of, of, of solving or doing. We are looking at this in a way that Abraham who came out of nowhere, he was just in a family that the family had limited him so much. The Bible said that the Lord appeared to him and now this is God making friends. Now he making a friend, he chose somebody who was lower than him. That was a blessing. He brought him out he first changed his name may the lord bring us to bring such friends our way somebody will see us because they see that we are making the effort we are even though we have all the disadvantages around us but we are still struggling making the effort to keep ourselves afloat i pray as the lord will help every one of us to keep afloat even as we find buoyant relationship rise up on your feet at this moment hallelujah praise the lord I would want us to pray shortly. I would want us to pray. Thank you, Jesus. And all sale paradosi. In el amor celeberia faladosia. Relationship. Boyan relationship. Solid relationship. Relationship that will keep you afloat. Because in this time and age, so many people are sinking. So many companies, businesses, things are sinking. But in the midst of us, others too are making millions and if not billions. I believe God for you. So many people's faith are sinking down. But in the midst of this, you can let your faith be buoyant. You can let your faith be buoyant. I want you to lift up your hands at this moment. Oh Jesus. You want to believe God. That may he lead you as he did with Abraham. He called Jacob his servant. But to Abraham, he referred to him as his friend. We declare that the Lord himself shall bring Shut you up. people who will see what God saw in Abraham. Yes, Lord. That he didn't call him his servant, mm. but he called him his friend. There are people that must see this in you. Yes. As I look at you, even ah, though no, you no, may no, not no. look like somebody who will be mm -hmm. rich the next morning, mm -hmm. who will be a pastor or who yes. will be a business tycoon the yes. next day. Yes. May the Lord open our eyes to see. Da, ba, da, ba, ba. Oh Jesus. She Lift up your say, Lord. Lord. Send people. Send people. Who will see the best in me. Who will see the best in to me. To locate me. To locate me. Even as I begin to work. Even as I begin to work. Towards my increase. Towards my increase. Talk to the Lord in prayer. Talk to the Lord in prayer. Lord, this morning, Lord God, we pray. Talk to the Lord in Lord, Lord, prayer. Lord, 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 Send people our way, Lord. Lord Talk Lord to the Lord in That will see the best in us. Ziko tala baba reke to sile mahata Rapa da 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 ba kata da ba la da da ba di as we walk towards oh lord our increase talk to the lord, lord talk send to the people lord. send people send helpers talk to the our lord. way oh lord kaba roko sata that will see the best oh lord talk to the send lord. oh lord god people talk our way the lord. that will see the best in talk us to the lord. as we walk as we walk our way towards talk our to increase the lord. in the name of jesus Rakabada da baba, Makoto rebele zita katala da ba, Manta kala ba le 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 le, Ikabo rapasi tala da ba ha, Yeah, Kabaro sataya. Send people our way, Lord. Send people our way. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Now, you want to pray in lay foundation for increase. You must ensure that you don't just desire to increase in a vacuum you must take some measurements accurate measurement mm, mm. you see this you can call it a tape measure but this one is called a spirit level now the way it works is that there is a ball 
a water that is put in a in a glass sort of and the way it works is that when you measure something there are two lines that are in between and the ball must be exactly in between for you to know that what you have measured is level is even hallelujah amen listen as we talk about increase and the subheading for today is buoyant relationship you must be measured tell a neighbor be measured be measured in the choice of your relationship in the choice of your relationship don't be quick to make relationship don't be quick observe calculate take some measurement hello Hi. gather some information hello Hi. you cannot let there is no builder that will build or lay a foundation without proper measurement because you know what if you miss it you will notice that you reach a certain level of the building and notice that there is some crookedness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Take proper measurement. Assess people. Assess them. Measure them. Take time. Dear young lady, you want to increase in marriage? Listen. Don't rush because the guy look good, tall, nicely dressed. With nice beard, nice tie, like uh, they can Richard Ajan. You see how smart he looks today. I know he's been a good, he's a good husband. Nana will tell you he's a good husband. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Listen, take some measurement. Young man, you want to marry? Don't look at the the, the smoothness of her face. Hello? Yes. Don't look at just the heels and the straight legs. Don't, don't look. It, it's not enough. No. No. It's not enough. Don't look at those things, mm -hmm. young man. Don't look at them. Don't, because let me tell you something. You must ensure you are taking proper measurement. Look at the person's goals. What moves them? What is their vision? Where do they want to be in the next one year, two years? Take measurement. Measure them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As I've told you before, when you go to the shop to buy, there are many shoes there, but you look at the one that fits your... That is measurement. You don't want to buy something and you wear it and it will look like what I'm wearing now. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? Take some measurement. Have a plan. What do I want to do from this year? The year, you see, the best time to plan most of, often for a year is the last year. You start from the last, other year. But if by mistake you didn't do that and you have entered into this year at least you have january start planning it is a reason why i've deliberately taken time to teach on these things because we are talking about increase now to how do the increase come we have to what? lay foundation that will accommodate this increase else the year will end and then you will have nothing to prove for oh come on clap your hands for the lord take measurement and also, lastly, I'll continue from here next week. You know what this is? Huh? It's helmet. It is required in every serious building site or construction site. Whether you are a builder or not, you must wear it. Why? Because there's a belief that Maybe a scaffolding can just slip and then hit your head and you are gone. Or a brick can fall on your head. 
and kill you. So this one, it signifies security. Boyan's relationship. Don't walk into every relationship. When I say relationship, it's, a, it's diverse. A relationship, we are looking for increase. We need partners. There are people we must relate to. Who knows what you don't know? Who has been places where you have not been to? Ask them questions. Find out. Get that information. As I told you before, this church didn't just start because I, I told, I'll be saying, come and plant it. I didn't just do that. I told you a couple of weeks ago. We did feasibility studies. Where the church must be. What? Because in every area, the people that live there, they have, there's a, at least a certain vast percentage, they have a certain mindset. Because of that environment. So you might, when you go in there, you must go with a certain message. That is tailor-made for them. That will help them. Because if not, you just think that, oh, it's just a church. Let me go in and plan. You'll be shocked. You can be an ICGC church. I tell you, you will fail. You can go and preach out of the coconuts. Nobody will listen. You will not have any progress. Why? Because you see, you need to do some measurements. That's why it's called church planting. There are strategies in planting church. You don't just do it. Because you feel, oh, I am anointed. I carry some, some anointing. I carry some grace. Go and try it and see. <laughs> am I talking to somebody? God, therefore, all that we are doing is that whatever you want to build, make some measurement, do some calculation. You know, when we have done all this, we had to pray. I told you, I think the great problem is part of We pray through this area, ensuring that we know there are territorial demons that control the minds and the lifestyle of the people in this community. You have to tailor a particular prayer point to them to challenge them to make sure that they don't give you problems. Even if they will do, you know they will survive because you have laid very solid foundation. I declare you will not fail this year. Listen, lift up your hands. You will not fail this year. I declare over your life, those here and those of you online, you will not fail this year. Amen. The Lord give you wisdom. Yes. And let you take proper measurement. Amen. And take great good things into account. Amen. Every material you need, every tool you need, yeah, may the Lord yeah, direct yeah, you yeah, to yeah, it yeah, in the yes, name amen. of Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands. Say, Lord, Lord, give me ideas. Give me ideas. For my increase this year. For my increase this year. Say, Lord, Lord, lead me to right relationship. Lead me to Right for my increase this for year. My increase this Come year. on, clap your hands and talk to the Lord. Oh, the Lord is good. He 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 let the increase of the Lord come. We declare that the Lord will lead. The Lord will direct. Let the Lord open the eyes of Amen. You want to pray for security. For security. Yes, amen. There are people who are built, and when they were building, they forgot about security. They left certain key areas. Probably they, because they didn't take proper measurement, they didn't see that problem coming. And then it happened to them suddenly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But because they have not taken proper measurement which means that they have not taken important certain important things into account the earthquake and all that they did collapsed and I go you know there have been earthquakes in an area where some buildings collapse and others don't yeah, yeah. what happened foundation. proper foundation was laid 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord give every one of you in the pursuit of increase what is called security. Amen. Amen. Don't just accept any because I want to increase. Mm. The moment I, 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 you, you hear go, you just go. Mm. No. Take time. Mm. Ask questions. Take some measurement. And as you do so, it will show you where you have to, where you have to secure yourself. The Bible says, for lack of knowledge, my people. For lack of knowledge, my. For lack of knowledge, my. So God said his own people perish because they lack knowledge. Why would they? Because we are people of God. We are not supposed to perish. But he's saying that there are things that you need knowledge to protect you against. The Lord doesn't want to spoon, spoon feed us. Maybe that's why charismatism is what it is. We're supposed to make much impacts than we have to make. But maybe we are not taking some key things into consideration. Lift up your hands and put it above your head. Say, Lord, Lord, give me security. Give me security. In my pursuit. In my pursuit. Of increase. Of increase. Give me security. Give me security. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In my pursuit of buoyant relationship. In my pursuit of buoyant relationship. Give me security give me security in the name of jesus in the name talk of to jesus. god talk to the lord in prayer security lord give us security thank you jesus in our pursuit of increase give us security father I thank you and I declare that as your children go home, let them ponder over this. Because for the increase to happen, we need certain relationships to help us fulfill that. Relationship that will keep us afloat. Relationship that will be supportive to our agenda in pursuit of increase. We declare God, bring us to people, lead us to places where we'll be inspired according to your will and purpose in our quest to achieve an increase. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. A better clap offering unto the Lord and for our Papa. Amen.